18th, I had a Mary's Mystery Challenge number two in my Mary's is Live live session on Friday night. And we did a tatting pattern. That was so fun to do. And let me tell you, I saw pages that some of you had done, Lisa's and Janet and Susan Hillis and Azure. Some of those pages, I haven't seen them all yet, I'm sure, but you outdid me. You outdid me. <laughs> and that's great because when somebody teaches something, Thing to somebody else when that somebody else takes that lesson and makes it their own and makes it into something up and above what they learned. It does the heart of the person communicating the lesson really good. I learn from all of you. So, I have been experimenting with tatting and not the real life tatting. I have tatted before but not for a very long time. What I'm doing is really just drawing tatting. This is the page that I did the gold wash over with yesterday and I have a pin plus gear marker. These are black markers. I get them Two for a dollar at Walmart. They mark really good over paint. And this is a metallic paint, but it's a thinned down paint. So I want to show you how this pen works on this painted page. Also, I want to show you more techniques that I've been playing with. And I'll go really slow and I'll explain what I'm doing. Now I do use a fine line paint applicator filled with black craft paint, but you don't have to use that. That's not a necessity. You can draw with a plain marker or even a pen or a pencil if you wish. So I'm going, I want this to be short. I just want to show you what I've been playing with. I'm going to call this, when I do a tatted series like this or something to add to my tatted series. I'm going to call them tatting treats. So this is a tatting treat. One of them is in the corner. It's kind of like a corner motif. And you do the same type of, of loop, only I'm going to bring maybe out two inches from your corner here. Maybe let's zoom in just a little bit. There. I'm going to work in this corner and approximately two inches, we're going to start a line. You can just make this kind of a curvy line. Try to leave some space between the line and the edge of the paper because we're going to be putting little loops in there. So just kind of make it a little curvy line. Come in and we're going to do two loops again. A loop. And another loop. Leave a little space between these two loops and then do your line about two inches out this way. Then to these two loops, before we draw our little loops, I want you to come from the top of this and just do a loop on top of the two. So it's three. Then you go in and you do your small loops. Now I in the Mary's Mystery Challenge, I said small, tall, small, but you don't have to do that. You can do small loops all the way around, small loops, and in fact, you, if you look at tatting, you will probably see a lot of small loops, about the same size. You might want to connect these two loops with a, with a small loop inside there. Do some small loops around each one of your loops here. And if my hands are painty, I apologize because I have been, I've been working on my art today. So, I 
I often have painty hands. <laughs> Forget Mary trying to have manicured hands because it's it's not going to happen. Then I drew little loops all around the inside of these lines and then I'm going to draw some more small loops along the outside. So this is a corner motif. Now I'm not saying that this would work for a tatted pattern if you do tatting. I'm just saying this is inspired by tatting. But it's something very elegant and then you can go and add, I like to add the dots. I think that they add a lot to the design. I think they give it a certain elegance. Just at different places along your design, just add your, your dots. And there we go. How easy that was. The other tatting treat that I want to show you has to do with a long area, maybe on the border of your page or even up here at the top. Let's do it up at the top. You just draw, come down, leave some space between the border of your, the edge of your page and where your line is going to be. And you do a swirl, you just start, do a curl, bring it in, bring it out this way. And this is nothing that's nothing new. This is probably a little shorter than what I want, but it will still work. And then you just do little tatted loops along this. You can make this as elegant as you want. You just bring little tatted designs. And that's really kind of to fill in the space between the corners. Now you could add a loop in here or maybe some loops there. We'll expand more on these later, but these are just little motifs that you can try if you want. Now I'm going to add a third padded treat for those of you who like to experiment. In Mary's Mystery number two, I showed you how to do a circular padded piece that looks something like that looks something like this. I'm not going to show you this whole piece because I want to show this in another video. This is another project that I'm working on. You will see this soon. But we did this motif in our Mary's Mystery Challenge. But I'm going to do a variation of that, and I want to show that to you here. When we did this one, we did two loops here, a 45 degree angle, two loops, a 45 degree angle, two loops, and two loops, and two loops. So it's really a four-sided circle, if that makes any sense, and then we connected everything. Well, what we're going to do here, when we start out with our 45 degree angle... Do the same thing, but we're going to put a loop in the center of it. So here's your 45 degree angle with a loop. And that's going to come over onto the first. I'll leave a little space. Do a loop in there. Here's the second side. Here's the third 45 degree angle with a center loop. Here's the third side with two loops, like this, and I ran out of space. So even I'm experimenting here. I made this one entirely too long. So see, I, I'm learning along with the rest of you. Let's do this again. Let's, a loop, 
in the 45 degree angle two loops a 45 degree angle with a loop I'm coming down and we're doing the side here two loops this is the next 45 degree angle we're coming down and doing the bottom two loops here we go like that this is a, this side gets a little hard you kind of have to practice this but even if you do something awkward like this it can be it can be fancied up to where it doesn't look that bad don't quit because you make a mistake let's fill in our circle and let's still keep let's not draw center lines from the from the 40 loops in the 45 degree angles let's do them from the two loops here a line here to the center that's the 45 degree one a line a line a line and a line so these 45 degree angle loops do not have lines on them and then we just do our other little loops around and you can play with this this was kind of a, an awkward shape but as I said in my live session fabric does not unless it's stretched taunt and straight fabric does not lay perfectly perfectly tight it has wrinkles in it it's it's flexible it uh, it folds it would probably be more likely to have a shape like this that doesn't appear to be a perfect shape in a real piece of tatted fabric unless it's stretched taut and you can even come in here and put in some loops if you want just make it all nice and fancy just play with it and notice that I'm not doing the small tall small here I'm going small 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 every place and I'm not connecting them all let's go back and do that just sometimes you might have to connect the connectors just uh, freeform it and I would say 95% of the time you're going to come up with something that looks pretty good all right let's put the circle center circle in this one we're going to draw the line from the bottom of the loop to the center of the circle bottom of the loop to the center of the circle but we're not going to do that for the loops that are on the 45 degree angle loops we're going to skip those otherwise we'll just have a, a circle of lines it just gives it a little breathing space to draw your loops in there. And then just go in and draw all these little loops in between. So these are some, what I'm going to call, padded treats. And I will be working with different padded sketches, different padded designs. And notice, notice how nice my pen is playing on this washed paper. It, it's not skipping. It's, it's not drying up on me. And I will say, this is a wash of gold acrylic paint. But it's been thinned down with water. I find that felt tip pens on acrylic paints... Do not work very well as a general rule but this one is not complaining over an acrylic wash that's metallic paint for me anyway so there you go how fun is that so I'm just gonna write corner motif here and this will be Corner motif number one, because there'll be others. I'll put number one here. And I'm just going to call this a variation.
of circular because this is a, a variation of the one that I showed you how to do in my Mary's Mystery Challenge number two. Now, I'm going to zoom out just a little. Now, I showed you how to do these. Let's see, this one, this one would be, um, huh. I'm just going to call this border, border segment motif. Border segment number one. So we've got border segment number one, a variation of the circular motif, and the corner motif number one. Now I'm going to go into fast forward, and I'm going to combine all of these on this page, just to, to play with it. Thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow morning.